Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you seven powerful and unique Samsung Galaxy features that you probably haven't used yet, or maybe didn't even know existed. So I'll be demonstrating everything on my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, but don't worry, most of these features work on other Samsung Galaxy devices as well. So these tips will enhance your productivity, make your phone more fun to use, help you get the most out of one UI. So stick around till the end, and as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and drop a comment letting me know which feature you're going to try first. So the first feature is moving home screen wallpaper. So this feature lets you set a video or motion wallpaper on your home screen, giving your phone a dynamic and a lively feel every time you unlock it. So let me show you how you can get a moving home screen wallpaper for your Samsung device. So in order to do this, you want to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and open up the Wonderland module. Go ahead and tap on Create Your Own Moving Wallpaper. So here you can go ahead and tap on the plus sign. We'll go ahead and choose a photo from our gallery, or we can just go ahead and choose a normal plain color. So I'll go ahead and choose just a normal plain color. Now here, I'll go ahead and tap on the plus sign here, and we'll go ahead and add a video. So here we'll go ahead and add this video, tap on done. Now, as you can see, this video has been added. We'll go ahead and enlarge this. Now here we can go ahead and add particle effect or particle preset. So we'll go ahead and add an effect. So let's just say flying hearts. Let's preview it. So as you can see in the background, you have a moving background with some flying hearts flying about. So now once you're happy with this, you can go ahead and tap on the save button here and save it. Next, it'll ask you if you want to set it as a wallpaper. So yes, we want to set it as a wallpaper. However, we want to go ahead and set it for our home screen wallpaper. So we'll go ahead and choose that. Now we'll press home. And now as you can see, you have set a moving home screen wallpaper on your Samsung Galaxy device. So this basically adds a personal touch and liveliness to your phone. It's perfect for those who want their phone to feel more customized and more futuristic. The second feature is where you can change the app opening animation speed. So if you want to adjust how fast or slow your apps open on your Samsung Galaxy device, giving you more fluid or a snappy feel, depending on your preference, then let me show you how to do this. So in order to do this, we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, we'll go ahead and open up the Home Up module. Now here we'll go ahead and tap on Gesture Settings. And here we'll go ahead and tap on Home Gesture Animation Tuning. So here we can go ahead and set all of these details here. So we can go ahead and choose if you want a classic feel, elegance feel, dynamics, suite, or simple tuning. So let's say for example, classic. So with the classic option, you can go ahead and open an app and you can see that the animation has changed. Let's go ahead and choose something else. So for example, let's have a suite so it will melt away like cotton candy. So here, as you can see, the animation is more slow and more subtle. If you want a fast animation, you can go ahead and choose dynamic. So as you can see, the animation of closing and opening the app is really quick. If you don't like these presets, you can go ahead and choose simple tuning and you can go ahead and tune how slow or how fast you want the apps to open. So you can just go ahead and drag left and right. If you want advanced tuning, so you can go ahead and choose that as well. So in advanced tuning, you can go ahead and configure all of these. So you can go ahead and choose this damping, stiffness, friction, the icon scale, icon tracking position, the window transparency, the wallpaper. So these are all the configurations you can make to your animation speed on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So this will basically make your phone feel faster. It's useful for power users or multitasking who wants immediate responsiveness or who wants a more subtle responsiveness. The third feature is where you can turn on the photo ambient wallpaper to match your location weather. So if you want to use Samsung's photo ambient feature to change your wallpaper automatically based on the current weather and location condition, then let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and use the Samsung's AI feature called photo ambient. So we'll go ahead and long press on the home screen. We'll tap on wallpaper and style, and this will only affect the lock screen. So say for example, if it's raining outside, your lock screen will show you raindrops. If it's snowing outside, it'll show you snowing. So let's go ahead and tap on the lock screen. 
then tap on wallpaper. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find create with AI. And in this section, you want to find photo ambient mode. So here you'll see how AI changes your photo based on the time and weather. It works best with outdoor photos taken during the day. So as you can see, this is the original picture and this is what your photo will be. So say if it's snowing outside, you'll see snowflakes. If it's raining, you'll see raindrops. So let's go ahead and tap on try now. Go ahead and choose a photo. So for example, this one here. Now we can go ahead and tap on done. Now just give it a few minutes while Samsung AI analyzes your photo and it'll basically show you the effect on it. So your wallpaper changes depending on rain, sun, snow, or even cloudy weather. So it adds a subtle yet interactive experience to your device. The fourth feature is where you can turn off Google Discover. So as you know, when you swipe right, you'll see this Google Discover page. So if you're not a fan of Google Discover showing up when you swipe right from a home screen, you can basically disable it for a cleaner, distraction-free experience. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and long press on the home screen. We'll tap on settings. Now we'll go ahead and scroll down and find this settings here called add media page to home screen. So you can go ahead and tap on this and here you can go ahead and turn this off. So once you turn this off, Google Discover or Samsung News won't show up. So now when I turn this off and when I swipe right, you'll see that it'll go back to the last page of my home screen. So you no more see Google Discover on your Samsung Galaxy home screen. So this reduces clutter, distractions, keeps your home screen minimal and it's focused as well. The fifth feature is where you can write on calendar instead of typing. So with Samsung Calendar and the S Pen or finger input, you can basically write directly in your calendar instead of typing events. So let's say for example, you want to block out a week in August where you're going on holiday. So let me show you how to do this, where you can basically write on the calendar itself using your S Pen or your finger input. So here I'll go ahead and remove my S Pen. Now once I do this, this will bring out my S Pen command menu. Here you need to go ahead and find this option here, write on calendar. If you don't see it, you can go ahead and tap on the plus sign and you can go ahead and find it from this menu here. So it's write on calendar right here. So you wanna go ahead and tap on that. This will bring your calendar view up. So now let's just say, for example, from the 11th till the 16th, I'm on holiday. So I can go ahead and mark it on the calendar directly. Now let's just say I have another holiday coming up as well from the 20th to the 23rd. And let's just say, for example, I have some important events on the 26th, 28th and 30th. So I can go ahead and make my notes here. Now, once that's done, I can go ahead and tap on save. Now I can go ahead and view my calendar. And when I view my calendar, I'll see all the changes I have made on the calendar itself. So instead of typing it in, you can go ahead and mark your calendar and you can easily enter in dates, events, or any holiday which you're taking. So it feels natural, intuitive, especially for S Pen users. So it's great for quick notes or drawing attention to specific days on your calendar. The sixth feature is where you can create setting shortcuts. So using the Gradistar module, which is part of the GoodLock app, you can basically create a shortcut to any setting menu directly from your on your home screen or gestures. So let me show you how to do this. So here is an example, let's say you want a setting which you use quite regularly. So say for example, display and screen timeout. So let's just say for example, you use this settings quite regularly and you quite often change the screen timeout from 15 seconds to 10 minutes or two minutes and you want a setting shortcut for this. So in order to do this, you can go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you'll go ahead and open up the Registar module. Now here you can go ahead and tap on search options and then you need to go ahead and turn on this feature called allow creation of shortcut. Go ahead and turn this feature on. Now once that's done, press home. Now go to your shortcut which you want to create. So I'll go ahead and search for it. Screen timeout. Now go ahead and long press on it. This will now ask you if you want to add it to your home screen. So yes, I want to add it to my home screen. Now I'll go back to home and I'll find that shortcut. So as you can see, my screen timeout shortcut has been added. So if I tap on this, this will take me directly to that screen shortcut 
timeout page. So you save time by jumping directly to your favorite settings. So it's especially useful for tech savvy users and tinkerers. And lastly, the seventh feature is where you can easily move events or reminders on your Samsung calendar. So on your Samsung calendar, you can easily move events or reminders by just dragging and dropping on any other day. So here's an example. I have two events, one's on the fifth and the seventh. So I've got chicken dinner and the seventh is my birthday coming up. So here you can basically just go ahead and drag that and move it anywhere else. So you don't need to edit them manually. So you don't need to go ahead and tap on this, edit the time and so on. So you can just go ahead and long press on that event and you can go ahead and move it anywhere you like. As you can see, I've moved the chicken dinner and my birthday to another day. And like this, you can basically move any event around without editing it. So it's super fast rescheduling. It keeps your calendar tidy and make changes in a breeze. So that's a wrap on seven hidden or underrated features on your Samsung Galaxy device, all demonstrated on my Galaxy S25 Ultra. But remember, most of these work on other Samsung Galaxy phones too. So let me know in the comment section down below, which of these features do you already use? Which one blew your mind? And of course, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more Samsung tips and tricks coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.